Hey guys, this is Jake with my Bring Back, continuing on with WordPress, and uh, what we're gonna get into today is putting content on your website with posting, with posts. And uh, with the posts, I'm gonna go through you know how to add them, um, how to put tags and categorize them, and then also with your posts, where do they go? Uh, do they, typically, they go on the home page, but can we modify that? Yeah, and uh, I'll show you that today. And so what we're going to start off with is uh, on your dashboard, as you're in the dashboard, you'll see the post on the left um, and the admin panel of your back end of the back end of your site. So go ahead and click the drop down on post and you'll see there's four different options that come with posts. We've got posts, which this brings you into the actual area where it uh, shows all your posts that you have. You can sort them by date and then also sort them by categories. You know, this is when you'll have 500 posts and you're trying to find that certain post you posted a while back. You can filter. Um, you can also do bulk actions, um, deleting, editing, um, categorizing, stuff like that. So that's the first category is just showing them. Add new, we'll do that here just in a second. Categories, this is going to be um, as you guys get more and more posts, you want to categorize them so people can find post related. Um, so you can go ahead and add categories within here and then you can also add subcategories within your your uh, categories. So right now we've already got we've already got the default uncategorized um, as the uh, main category in there. That's fine for now. Last thing here on the on the post section is uh, post tags, and these are going to be micro categories that help people find your actual posts. So those will be important as you're trying to be found on search engines, um, and you just want to have some micro categories that help people find articles related to their topic of need. So that's uh, kind of the last thing and I'll show you that a little bit more in depth as we add the new post here. So let's start off with uh, clicking the add new and this brings a completely fresh template for us. So as you can see the first uh, the first box or first uh, field that we can enter is the title and this is important because the titles are actually uh, fairly fairly prominent as far as Google searches in what they look for. So you know stay away from naming it weird to where you know if you want to be found out there make sure it's related to the topic that you're writing about and that'll help with your search engines so for our case we're just gonna put demo hey let's go hey world instead of hello who, want, who wants a hello world alright so we put in the title and, uh, and then we drop down to the next place right here which is this is where we actually write the content of the post um, we can format the post that way and whatnot. It looks like I've already got the kitchen sink drop down, which that uh, when you first open it up, your posting area is probably going to look similar to this. This option down here just gives you a little bit more as far as formatting, um, some different options within there. So go ahead and click that, and that'll give you a little bit more. Um, there's two parts to, uh, to the, the content posting. Over here, you can see visual, which this gives you what it actually looks like on the end side, the end user side. And then we can also do HTML. So if we want to embed a YouTube video or we want to embed something with HTML code, um, you're going to have to flip over to the HTML side. Um, it's going to look a little funky if you're not used to HTML, but uh, I'll show you an example of that right now. So let's say uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to add a couple ordered lists or something. This is uh, hey, hello, and hola. So we've got uh, we've got three items on an ordered list, and you know typically this is this is great. You know that's what we're going to see as we uh, if we publish the post now. But I'm going to show you if you flip over to the HTML side what it looks like if you're unfamiliar with that. So you can see we've got right here ordered list number one, two, and three. And instead of saying one, two, three, it just has li, which is the ordered list, um, and then behind it saying this is the this is the end of ordered list number two this is the end of order ordered list number three so it does look a little bit funky but uh, if you do for some reason have to add some HTML code embed something um, you will have to flip over to this side but typically when you're writing a post you can typically stay within the visual side um, help you visually see what your post is gonna look like and uh, go from there so now that we've got this here um, explore these different options there's several different things you can do with them um, over here we've got alert boxes message boxes that you can insert um, for example we could put important in there 
and then uh, write let's go leave a comment below alright so they have predefined um, formatting that helps you guys out there um, if you're unfamiliar with HTML code last thing I want to touch on on this comment or the content area is the upload slash insert and this is this is crucial you know you go to some blog posts and maybe they don't put any information in them they don't uh, actually have any content that's really you know visually attractive to you adding images videos music um, media especially definitely helps the the blog post look and feel like it's got some content to it and uh, some helpful things so go ahead and post that and uh, and put that in your blog post as well so that's up here and that's as simple as just clicking it adding an, Im an image there and then uh, inserting that into your post so uh, now that we're through with the content area let's move over to uh, the categories over here and the categories again like I explained we can add different categories to help us organize stuff and this would be where we actually would select our category when we're putting that into our blog post so as you click add new category you can add different topics you can click in there um, select the the actual category for our case we only got one category so we'll select that moving down we've got the post ca post tags here this would be uh, where we add different post tags and uh, it's kind of a micro category to the uh, post itself so you can add different categories you can choose from the most used tags which we don't have any yet because we haven't actually launched any posts or post tags but uh, <clears throat> and then um, we've got uh, the last section up here is where we actually go to publish it or we can set it ahead of time so it publishes at a later date um, so up here you can see we can save it as a draft so we don't have to post it right away um, right now we're in draft stage visibility we can also make this a private post so only certain people can see it or it's got uh, password protected so that's another option available and then uh, here's where we can publish ahead of time so if we want to publish this tomorrow we can put the date tomorrow click OK and then uh, we can schedule that post so for our sake I want to show you the front end of this um, so we're just gonna post it right in right away here we're gonna click publish go to our blog site over here and as you can see we've got June 5th demo hey world we've got uh, the list there with uh, leave a comment below exclamation box that we put in there so if you click into the post itself you'll you'll see the whole post um, and then again we can leave a reply for this post etc etc so that's uh, that's kind of the basics to actually putting a post together um, the main components of publishing adding content and then uh, actually launching it or publishing it on on your blog side the last thing that I want to show you is uh, as you can see the home page on ours is defaulted to the blog so the blog is on the home page and uh, you can see it's reverse chronological order what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna switch that so it shows up on our sample page because I really don't want the blog on my front page I want to have it uh, on a sample page that maybe maybe we retitle this to blog so we're gonna go over here and uh, we posted the publish so that's good we don't have to worry about saving it or anything but we're gonna go down to settings here and then down to reading and once you click reading you'll see front page front page displays and so right now we've got uh, the front page displays your latest post but instead we want the front page to be maybe we maybe we create a new page called home or in this case we'll just have it about us but then we want our post page which are going to handle all of our posts on the sample page here's some additional setting with blog pages to show at most you know let's say 15 15 posts and then we're going to go ahead and click save changes we're going to flip back over to our blog here on the the end user side let's wait for that to load all right now let's refresh our site so as, as you can see, the home page is now the About Us. My Bring Back is about sharing with you. All right, so now the sample page should show our blog post. There we go. So we've got the demo, Hey World, and then we got the Hello World as our only two blog posts so far. So that kind of that kind of gives it a little bit of separation from the home page. If you don't want the blog specifically on your home page, 
that's how you do that so all right hopefully it wasn't too boring we had uh, you know how to write the post how to add it categories tags and then uh, how to switch your blog page from the home page to uh, a different page that you've created so hopefully that's a help next video we're gonna be going over um, the plugins that may be a two-part video because there there's so many plugins out there I just want to show you where to find them how to utilize them and then uh, how to implement them into your WordPress so hope you had a good time we'll uh, check you later don't forget to subscribe that'll that'll help you keep up with the videos and uh, we'll go from there Thank <laughs> you.